Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about optimizing row-wise operations in Theano. They ask, how can we efficiently use the T-switch function when dealing with large tensors? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To efficiently switch between two tensors based on a condition in Theano, we can utilize the T-switch function. However, using T-repeat on the condition tensor can be slow, especially with large tensors. Instead of repeating the condition tensor, we can leverage Theano's advanced indexing capabilities. This allows us to select rows from tensors A and B based on the Boolean values in Cond. Here's how you can implement this. First, create an index array that selects rows from A or B based on the condition. You can use NumPy's WHERE function to achieve this. Now you can construct the output tensor by using the indices to select from A and B. This method is much faster and avoids unnecessary computations. In summary, by using advanced indexing instead of T-repeat, you can efficiently switch between tensors in Theano. This approach significantly improves performance for large tensors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To efficiently decide between two arrays in Theano, you can use a simple formula. Multiply the condition by array A and add it to the product of the inverse condition in array B. This method minimizes memory usage and avoids conditional logic. If you want to update array A in place, you can use the tset subtensor function. This allows you to selectively update elements based on the condition, but performance may vary depending on the size of your arrays. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.